Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. Today I'm going to give an update on some of the phones that I've got um, the last past uh, month, I would say now. Um, there's quite a few. I'll also do an update on the other two that I've got. And we will go from there. So let's start out with this um, Quick Fire. I think it's a um, UT Starcom. Yeah. It's the GTX 750R. Um... I got this in a trade with uh, Retrocoms. I'm going to be sending out her phones tomorrow, so she might post a video on it. Um, but I don't have a charge for this device, so I haven't tested it. But there it is. It does have a battery and everything. The next phone that came in that same trade with her was this Samsung T239. And I have a battery to test it. It turns on, and then it starts to go to the uh, boot screen and it turns back off so as you can see it boots up for the most part it would show the custom greeting that the um, the person before it had and then it will start boot looping and go back to the Samsung splash screen and start all over again and that's all it keeps doing so I'm not too sure what's wrong with it I'll have to figure that out but there's that and the sliding slider mechanism is really stiff there's that one here is this nokia 6230b um, it does seem to work but it does have a busted lcd so let me grab the battery out of my other nokia over here and we'll take a look at it i see it'll probably boot up but it does have a broken lcd there we go. You can hear the phone functioning in the background, but it doesn't do anything because I can't see the screen. So I'll have to buy an LCD for it. But it's in pretty decent shape, so there's that one. Um, we also got this Droid Turbo 2, and there was another one. Uh, I think I threw it away already, but it was basically it was really twisted the frame was all bent and I basically took parts off and put this one together I was able to get it together, but the battery is no good from the other phone being twisted um, It destroyed the cells in the battery and the battery was inflated so I won't take a charge But I got this so now when I plug it in And try to power it on It shows the uh, battery symbol so I just need to get a battery for it and then it should be good to go. This I got, that was also these so far are in the trade with retro columns. I'm going to do all of hers and then I'll do um, phones I got other places. So here is a Sony Ericsson T306 special proprietary battery. I don't have it so um, I haven't been able to test it all but it's got like a little joystick in the center. These phones with the joysticks are really cool. I kind of like them. But um, don't have a battery for it, so I haven't been able to test it. This back cover really sucks to get off. Um, the only way I was able to get it off was to put a suction cup on here, pull this, and then pull the suction cup, and that's how I got it off. There's that one that's been untested. Here is a HTC. I think it's a SAPP310 not too sure looks like it's got water damage doesn't have a battery haven't been able to test it screen's not cracked though and it is glass so there's that one let me see what else i got in there with her i had two of these ones these are the motorola xt603 um and they were both in somewhat decent condition this one's a little bit better condition um as you can see it's basically an android touchscreen phone with a corded keyboard um i had two of them and then i was cleaning the desk today i set it up in my living room so i can at least make my videos again for you guys and i knocked it off the desk and it must have landed on a, um, a piece of rock or something on my hardwood floor and completely shattered it so there's that one 
Um, I have batteries for both of them. I put them in and they try to charge, but this little blue light right here is actually lights up. Um, it keeps flashing blue from what I read on the forms. Back when these phones were um, newer, the battery is going bad and that's why the blue light flashes. So I'll have to get a battery for this one and then this one I'll probably take for parts if that one needs anything because um, at least it was a worse condition one, I guess, but now it's cracked. We also got this iPhone 5C from her. Um, it is working. The only problem is, is as you can see, it is signed into someone's iCloud. Let me go in here. And I'll just show you that it's activated. I don't want to give out his email or anything. There you go. Find my iPhone is on. So um, this one, I can't reset it. Otherwise, it will be completely locked. Here is an iPhone 5 we got also. Um, it shows the battery dead screen, but I keep charging it over and over. And it never goes past the battery charging screen. So pretty sure it just needs a battery. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be iCloud locked as well. Let's see. The next one we have an iPhone 4S. And I was waiting for that to pop up. It is also iCloud locked under the same guy. Let's see, find my iPhone is on. I'll have to blur that out, but find my iPhone is on. So as you can see, there's that one. Here is an iPhone 4 that I've tried charging and it keeps giving me the uh, battery dead sign and the power button's really hard. So um, I'm probably going to take these iCloud locked 4 and 4S's. There's another 4 that we're going to get to. I'm probably going to take them and swap the parts on my other ones. Because I have a bunch of 4 and 4S's that need screens but are fully unlocked and stuff. Um, let's see. Here is a Samsung Seek, I think it is. I really don't want to pull the, uh, the battery out of it. It is the M380, I think it is. Oh, it already reset, so yeah. It is. Okay, I'm, yep, 380. So I was right. Um, it has this problem where it just turns itself on no matter what. Like the power button, I don't know, it just automatically kicks itself on. You can hear like a resistor or something in there, click them and I put the battery in. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but it will stay on basically all the time. Drains the battery completely dead, and then it won't pop back on. Here is a Samsung Intensity 2. It's the blue one. Works just fine. Um, I did charge it a little bit, so I was able to reset all these. It's working just fine. We also have this cool looking Nokia. It is a Nokia 6620. Oh, it's a really cool looking phone. You see it's got a little joystick in it. Here's that one. And then let's see, we had two more. Here is a LG um, Viper, I think it is, 4G LTE. Um, all I needed for this one to work was to... Um, Swap out the batteries. This battery does not charge at all anymore. And the battery I put in there is just a little bit too big. So it kind of pops this cover out when you press in the wrong area. But as you can see, it works just fine with the battery. So I'm not going to be too worried about it right now. Trying to get all these phones in order. That phone takes forever. Then we also got this um, Sanyo Katana. I think it's the DLX model. Yeah, the DLX Katana. Um, pink works just fine. It's pretty rough shape, but it works just fine. So we're going to keep it. Um, Got the standard 
saying you'll click when it flips. So as you can see, working just fine. Here is this one. Like I said, it works fine as well. I was able to reset it. I had a passcode on it, but all I had to do was do the hard reset. Took care of that phone. And I think that is all of them. Actually, there is a, this last four, but it's plugged in, so it's going to be dead. But it's a uh, iPhone 4. Pretty good shape, I would say. Um, but it's, I haven't even got it turned on yet. But I'm going to imagine it's iCloud locked as well. Um, and then we're going to do an update on this. This was the last um, video I think I made. Or close to the last video besides my uh, Suzuki video. Uh, the Motorola i850. Um, I was able to power it on with a different battery. I was able to reset it. It works just fine. So there's no problems with it. And then also this Samsung device. The Samsung A850. Um, I do have the US cellular model. This one. Um, it was just charging and I unplugged it and the battery is completely toasted which I can tell because the way it's uh, expanded as you can tell. So it needs a new battery but seems to, oh yeah you can definitely see it. But I see it still seems to function just fine so I'll have to get a battery for that one. And then also, these are from an eBay lot, these are all from Retrocoms. Um, and then I got these three phones from my friend when I was helping him clean his house. This one is a Octel One Touch 101.8B. Does work. It's a little bent though, I noticed. Um, the back cover is cracked and it's a little bit bent. So it's not really built that well. You see it's kind of bent right here by the volume button as well. So there's that one. There's this ZTE Z963VL. It's pretty cool. It's got dual cameras. Um, the screen's cracked as you can tell. And it is also Google locked. So we'll be doing a drop test and destruction on this one pretty heavy so i'm pretty sure it's going to destroy itself and then this thing is nasty guys it's a z936l as you can see it hasn't been used in a long time um the lcd is bad but the phone still works I'll grab the charger real quick But, uh, yep, there you go. As you can see, his charger port's a little iffy, it looks like. Yeah. So, see if it turns on or not. No. So, we'll have to deal with that later. But, as you can see, um, pretty nasty. I need to clean it up. Um, I have to price a screen for it. Possibly a battery, because it looks like it's been sitting for a while. And hopefully it's not Google locked after going all of that stuff. But we'll see. It's a pretty massive phone. I give it that. Let me see compared to my Note. It's about the same size lit width wise. Or actually uh, length wise. Same as about my Note 10 Plus. And then width wise it's actually a little bit wider. But there's that. And that would be all of the phones I have acquired recently guys. Oh, and I guess actually we'll do an update on this one real quick. The uh, U420 that I did the unboxing on. Um, fully works. I was able to charge it. Um, held charge. No problem with that. It had a brand new battery or replacement battery in it, as you can see. So. As you can see, it works just fine. Wasn't locked or anything. I was able to put all my info on it. So there will be an unboxing on this phone as well coming up. And then we also have my other U420, which you see is a little bit rougher. But I was able to get this one to lock. So now I have two of them. But that is going to be the update, guys, on the phone collection so far. Um, I actually did get my S6 Edge Plus. 
I replaced um, the camera lens with another cracked one, but at least my camera lens is on there again. I did polish the frame. I was pretty bored that day. So um, I just kind of went over, sanded it down, and polished it. And now I've been using it for a while, but it's kind of scratched up again. But there's that. I think that's all the updates, guys. Um, there will be some more videos coming. I've ordered a whole bunch more phones. Um, and I got my desk set up now, so... Stay tuned for the next one.